Today I'm going to talk about tips for turning. Um, not even the difficult one, just even in a hand, shodan or take take a shodan, you have to turn um, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees, etc. And a lot of people lose balance. And of course, there are difficult turns like in Gankaku, um, where you have to um, turn in one leg, etc., and then not lose the balance. But the basic principle for any turn is the same so please let me share with you today so when you turn you have to have the line going through your turning point so um, so if you're turning on the right heel for example then you want to put your right hip joint and a right shoulder joint in the same line if you have the one straight line going through, then your spin will be, of course, stable. You don't want to have a body line going somewhere. And then you want to have a one pivoting point. You don't want to have a, this kind of rotation. You want to have one pivoting point and the rest of the move, body move along, around this line. Um, and also, as much as possible, you don't want to have the weird whip wobbling of your arms. So what do I mean by that? So here, if I'm going into this way, so from zinc stretch to zinc stretch, here, this is my turning line. This is pivoting line. So I want to keep this line and going there. Same as Zenk says to in hand shoulder, it's quite easy because you don't want to, you're going to keep this line and this will be the supporting line in Kokuzachi. Um, another tip for, I learned from dance teacher is that they think about one, two, three, four place in your front of your body and one, two, three, four at the back as like a four, like a plate in front of you and back of you. These two plates, if they stay together and being sandwiched and rotate, they don't lose the balance. If one side, so if they, it's square, but if one side crashes, then you, when you're turning, your balance will go somewhere else. You want to keep these four points sandwiched as much as possible in your spin. So for example, if you're going like this to this point, you don't want to have any rotation like this. So this is the four square point. And if this shoulder goes away, then of course it will be so much harder to balance. So if you keep this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, as much as possible. And this is the spinning line of the square. Then you have that balance. So also you don't want to have the swinging of the leg when you're rotating. You want to keep it this. As, so what I think about my, while I'm thinking, keep the thigh in, bring the thigh in. So any spin, I imagine thigh and thigh to get close as possible spinning like this to spinning like this if you have a smaller line to spin it's much easier this to or this or this the last one is the easiest for the body so for for gankok for example you want to have the pivoting line and you're just keeping it straight as possible in a one go. Um, so as any turn, so for example, zinc stretch, two zinc stretch, I imagine my inner thigh and inner thigh slaps. Then it's sort of, rather than try to move, which lots of beginners do, but I just imagine this thigh or this thigh will go as close as possible, sort of slapping each other then you have so much better balance or easier time for your body to keep the balance so hope this tip helps so where you are spinning this center line 
or this line or this line and keeping these square parts like sandwiched and then also bring the inner thighs inner thighs together as soon as possible particularly in karate it's unlike ballet which bring the knee out um we want to keep uh you know growing protected so the quicker you close the legs the better it is for self-defense purpose so i find it if i think of that it actually helps my spin a lot more stable fast and sharp but land without any difficulties Oops.